Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Fine. Fine. Thank you. Excellent. Welcome to the class. Hello. Good morning, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to the class. Good morning. I'm happy to see you here. How do you feel? Uh -huh. Let's see, I can see Rudy. Hello, Rudy. How are you today? Hello, good morning. Good morning. I am good. <laughs> ready for the exam? <laughs> oh, ready, ready. Hey, well, <laughs> uh, come on, guys. Confidence. Uh, Gerald, how about you? How are you? I'm ready for the exam. Ready? Yeah. That's the attitude. How about you, Ingrid? Hello, teacher. Good morning. I'm ready. That's the attitude. <laughs> Excellent. Who else? I can see Paola. Good morning, Paola. How are you? Good morning, teacher. I'm fine. And you, teacher? I'm good. I'm good, too. Thanks for asking. Who else? Who else? Stella, good morning. How are you? Hello, chair. Good morning. I'm good. Excellent. How about you, Jonathan? Good morning. I'm pretty good, teacher. What about you? I'm super, so good. Thanks for asking. And well, Damaris, good morning. How are you? Good morning, teacher. I am fine. Excellent. Ready for the exam? Yes. Nice. Very good. Gabriela, good morning. How are you? Good morning, teacher. I am great. And you? Good too. Thanks for asking. Ready for the exam? Ready, yes. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, guys, today is a special day. Just remember, please write your full names on your profile. Okay, Jonathan, Ingrid, full names, please. Now, today it's the first day to take the speaking evaluation. Okay, um, if the time is not enough, we are going to continue tomorrow. Okay, but pay a lot of attention here. Remember that we are trying to improve the attendance score, okay? Now, imagine that you pass today. If you take the exam today, you have to be connected the full class, okay? Imagine that Rudy is the first one. It's just an example, okay? He is the first one. He takes the exam. But then he has to be connected the full class, okay? Él tiene que quedarse conectado toda la clase. And tomorrow, él se tiene que conectar toda la clase. It is not like, ah, hoy tomé el exam, so tomorrow I don't have classes. Mm -mm, no, guys. Okay? If you pass today, tomorrow, you have to be connected. Okay? Now, um, tomorrow, I will check the scores that we get today. Just in case, um, imagine that just in case, okay? Si alguien sale un poquito bajo en la nota, mañana, si nos queda tiempo, les voy a dar la oportunidad de que vuelvan a tomar el examen, okay? Esto es en dado caso que alguien salga como que muy bajo de nota, all right? So, um, recordarles, please, mañana se tienen que conectar. Si pasan hoy, it doesn't matter. Mañana se tienen que conectar a toda la clase. ¿Entendido? Yes? Pretty well. Excellent. Okay, um, before starting, guys, I just want to remind you 
um, the importance to finish the platform, okay? Tomorrow is the last day. So remember that by tomorrow, the platform has to be done. And this is how the platform is going so far. If you have questions about your progress, si hay algunos que me han dicho, teacher, yo no sé por qué no paso del 99. ¿Qué me hace falta? Entonces yo ahí les digo qué ejercicio es el que les hace falta para que ustedes lo puedan completar. Okay? So, so far, so good. I have some people that they have 99. So please try to complete the platform. Uh, let's see. Oops. Over here, look, something really good is that most of you already finished. I can see a lot of people that they are already done with the platform. Look, very nice. So, para los que tienen 99, I think that you can finish today. Okay, so far so good. And that's it. I have some people that they are very low. So please try to advance everybody. Remember, as I mentioned yesterday, if you don't finish the platform, you cannot go to the next level, okay? So uh, do you have any questions so far about the platform? Yes, teacher, yo. Yes? Sabe que yo ayer terminé y me sale todavía el 99%, entonces no sé si algo no termine de ver. Okay, let me see. In this moment, I'm going to check your profile. Give me one second. Okay, okay. Veronica Bernal, right? That's your last name? Yes. Okay. I'm checking right now your progress. One moment. Okay, look at this one. Uh, Veronica, let me share with you. Um, seems like it's missing one exercise. This one is the 5.4. So you can write it down, 5.4. That is the only one that is missing. So you can go to the platform and look for this one, 5.4. And that's it. Ese es el yeah. único que le aparece pendiente. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, thank you. Okay. Anyone else, guys? Do you have some doubts about the platform? Yes. Is there any exercise that you don't know why you haven't finished yet? No? Okay. If you have doubts, please just let me know and I will help you with that in order that you can finish the platform on time. Now, let's start with the evaluation, everybody. Uh, can you see the presentation? Yes. Excellent. Okay, so today is November 28th. This is the class 19, okay? Tomorrow is the last class, everyone. And remember the instructions for the speaking evaluation is going to be in pairs, okay, with your classmates. Remember that you have to prepare three difficult situations, okay? One situation has to be about health problem. The other situation has to be a personal issue or a personal situation, that means no related with health problem. And the other situation has to be something that you want, okay? Um, also guys, remember that your classmate has to give you three suggestions for each problem. You can use can or you can use the imperatives. Just please be careful. If I'm using imperative, can I say, uh, you go to the doctor? Can I say this? 
If it is imperative, no. no. What is the correct one? Go, Go to, to the, the doctor. doctor. Exactly. So if you use imperatives, remember that you cannot use the subject. Okay? Go to the doctor. That's it. Um, so it, we are clear with the situations and the suggestions. Yes? Yes, it's clear. Good. Now, remember everybody that you will have around five minutes. But in five minutes, if you haven't finished yet, I will give you more time, okay? So there is no problem at all. However, remember that I'm going to evaluate fluency. So mm, don't hesitate too much. Si siento que se me están tardando mucho, le voy a decir, hurry up, please. Porque como que muchos lo están pensando. Now, this is the rubric that I'm going to use to evaluate you guys. Can you see the rubric? Yes. yes. Excellent. The first aspect that I'm going to evaluate is the comprehension. Please pay attention to your classmates. Okay. Um, you have to understand your classmate's situation, okay? So, for example, imagine if your classmate say, ah, I have a stomach ache, okay? And you say, ah, yes, go to the party. What? No, right? Eso suena como que no entendimos, the classmate's situation. So, active listening. Remember that if you don't understand... You can ask your classmate. Can you repeat, please? I'm sorry, I don't listen. Can you say it again? Can you repeat, please? Okay. I'm going to evaluate grammar structure in your answers. So be careful because if you say something like, you go to the doctor, that is like a grammar mistake. Okay, so be careful. As I said before, I'm going to evaluate fluency. Remember, no hesitations, please. Eh, don't do like, eh, mm, eh, quiero ver. No, right? Remember, if you need time to think, what can we say? Can I say quiero ver? Quiero ver. Mm -mm. What can I say? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see, let yeah. me think, give me a moment, exactly. Now, um, I'm going to evaluate vocabulary. Listen, in this aspect, talking about vocabulary, I'm going to evaluate that you use both, that you use can and that you use imperatives. Imagine that you give very good suggestions to your classmates, but you only use can. You never use imperatives. That is going to reduce your score because in that case, you didn't use imperatives. And the idea is that you can use both. Also, I'm going to evaluate that you follow the conversation structure. What does it mean? During the class, we practice this conversation. Do you remember? I send it on WhatsApp's group that it says, how do you feel? Oh, not so good. Hey, what's the matter? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. So you have to follow this structure. If you follow this structure, okay, you will get the point. But imagine that your class may say, hello, hi, um, how are you? I'm not so good. Uh, you can go to the doctor. <laughs> Seguí la conversación? Imagine in that case. No. No, no, no le pregunté. What's the matter? No le dije, I'm sorry to hear that. Nothing. So you need to follow the conversation structure. Remember, guys, it's an exam. 
pero la idea es que suene como una conversation. Ok, quiero que pretendan que están teniendo una conversation with someone. Um, is it clear? Vocabulary? Yes? Yes. Pretty well. Remember that every word in Spanish is one point less. So for each word in Spanish, imagine that you say something like a pastilla. That is Spanish. That is one point less. And it's one point less in vocabulary. So, si ustedes usan can, usan los imperatives, siguen la conversation structure, pero dijeron una palabra en español, ese es un punto menos en vocabulary. Okay? So, be careful with the Spanish words. Um, also, uh, let's see. I'm going to evaluate pronunciation. Be careful with the pronunciation. Remember, everyone, we cannot say headache, backache. No, it's headache, backache, stomachache. Okay, be careful with that. Another aspect that I'm going to evaluate is that you present the three situations. If during the exam, si de repente dicen, ah, ya no sé qué otra situation, y solo mencionaron una, eso les va a afectar en su puntuación. Si de repente las tres situaciones que me dijeron son sobre health problems, también les va a afectar la puntuación. ¿Por qué? Porque tenemos que decir un problema de salud, una situación personal y algo que ustedes quieren. Okay? Three situations, three different scenarios. And finally, I'm going to evaluate three suggestions in each situation. Yo voy a ir contando, everyone, cuántas suggestions ustedes dan. Imagine that you said only two suggestions. Okay, that is going to reduce your score. Okay? At the end, remember, yo voy a sumar todos los puntos que ustedes tengan y ahí les voy a colocar su nota. Okay? Is it clear the rubric and all the aspects that I'm going to evaluate. Teacher. Yes. Uh, uh, the pronunciation uh, abandonic, right? Abandonic, what is that? Uh, you can abandonic your family. Mm, instead of abandonic, you can say leave or abandon. Abandon. Abandon or leave. De hecho, ese es como que mucho mejor. Leave es como dejar. So leave, okay. leave your family or abandon. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Um, Thank you. You're welcome. Any other question, guys, that you may have about yeah. the rubric? I have a question. Sure, go ahead. In the case... When, um, cuando cambiamos de situación, siempre vamos a utilizar la misma estructura o podemos hacer que fluya la conversación y que tenga como más o menos sentido. Mm, yo les sugiero que sigan la estructura de la conversación porque recuerden que no todos tienen la misma soltura, right? So, for example, ustedes pueden inventar otras palabras, otras frases, pero su compañero posiblemente no las sepa. Entonces, lo van a hacer que se sienta nervioso, confundido, y eso puede afectar la nota de él o de ella. Entonces, yo les sugiero que mejor sigan la misma conversación, la misma estructura, para que ninguno de los dos se encuentre en un punto en el que ¡Ah! no entiendo qué me está diciendo. Right? Así que, uh -huh. right. let's keep Thank the you. same. All right. Any other question that you may have? Everyone? This is the moment. No questions? Are you sure? Okay. Now, remember everybody in this moment, you can be volunteer. If you want to pass, you just have to leave your hands in the emoji, with the emoji that appears in, in the platform, in Zoom. Or I can pick 
people randomly. Okay, so you decide. In this moment, officially, we start the speaking evaluation. I already have a volunteer. Thank you, Jonathan. Me, Everybody? Me too. Me too. Susan? Susan. Perfect. Yeah, Susan. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Let's start with Jonathan and Susan. Give me a second. Let me write your names. Everybody, if you want to be the next one, don't forget. Just lift your hands, pero así déjenla, okay? And I will let you know when you continue. One second, let me write your names. Let's start with Jonathan Martinez. Oh, remember everybody, you need to keep the camera on during the evaluation, okay? That is another detail that I didn't mention. All right. Well, we are going to start. Please keep your microphones off. Don't interrupt your classmates. If someone turn on the microphone and interrupt your classmate, I'm going to uh, reduce one point because you are interfering in the evaluation. Well, Marlon, I'm sorry, no. Uh, Jonathan, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Excellent. Susan, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Excellent. Okay, guys, your five minutes to start now. You can start. Go. Okay. Good morning, Susanna. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. How do you feel today? I feel bad. I feel bad. Oh, what's the matter? My shoulder hurts. What oh, can I really? do? Yeah. What can I do? I'm sorry to hear that. Um. Well. You can uh, go to the doctor, also okay. take a pill, and moreover, you can put um, ice in your shoulder. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, how do you feel? Well, today I'm so sad, I'm, I'm not so good. What's the matter? I have a, a broken finger. Oh, really? Oh, so hard. Okay. You yeah. need to go to the doctor, hospital, uh, urgency. Um, maybe you can put the, the finger on, on ice. Maybe um, a, um, you can take the aspirin or whatever uh, pills. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. Thank you. Um, let me let me know, Susanna. Uh, do you have a other problem? Yeah. Uh, I feel I feel bad. Um, I lose my phone. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, probably you can tell your mom. She helps you to look your cell phone. Okay. Also, maybe uh, you can buy other cell phones. Okay. <laughs> and, and finally, maybe you can use other cell phone for send text to your cell phone okay okay i understand thank you and how do you feel too um i have a problem in this moment and the next What's week the I, have, I have a presentation in my job uh, can you tell me what can i do you have a presentation okay um go to the computer and, and make the document and uh, in the second you need analyze the situation but um for the interview and maybe you can you can study the probably the people ask you for the job oh thank you um okay. i was very very nervous um okay. 
How let do you me, feel? Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you. I want to travel to Japan. Uh, can you tell me what can I do? Yeah. Um. You can buy the ticket. Okay. Um. Maybe you need go to the airport for find a flight, and you can uh check on the app for the airplane. Yeah. I have the same problem too. I lost my flight to the United oh. States. What can I do? I'm sorry to hear that. Um, yeah. Buy other other ticket. Also, um, maybe you can call your parents for. Maybe they can help you. Okay. Um, call the um, airport for maybe we can help you. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you too. Bye. All right, nice conversation. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you, Susan. So if you paid attention to Susan and Jonathan, guys, they were saying one scenario, each one, and that is what I need, okay? It sounds like a conversation because both were asking, both were answering, okay? So you can say one and one. And if you paid attention, they said different scenarios. They talk about is health problem. They talk about they lost a cell phone that they want to travel to Japan. So different scenarios. So keep in mind that, okay? That is what you need to mention too. Okay, I have another volunteer. I can see Marlon wants to continue. Remember, Susan and Jonathan, you have to be connected the rest of the class, okay? I have Marlon and I need someone else. Who wants to be the next one? Okay, if I don't have volunteers, no worries. I'm going to choose someone, everyone. Uh, I have here my list for the random names. Let's see. Oh, I have already one volunteer. Thank you, Jocelyn. Okay, uh, if I don't have volunteer for the next round, remember, I'm going to pick randomly. Don't worry. Marlon, Jocelyn, are you ready? Yes? Yes. Great. Give me a second. I'm going to write your names. Who started or oh, whatever. Oh, one moment. One moment. I'm writing your names. Mm, okay. I, I have a nervous. So little. <laughs> okay. One second. Okay, Jocelyn, can you hear us? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So guys, your five minutes starts now. Okay. Hi, Marlon. Hi, Jocelyn. How are you? How do you feel? I'm terrible. What tomorrow? Mm, I have a headache. Oh. I am sorry to hear that. What can I do? Oh, for your headache. Um, you can take an aspirin and you can go to 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 bed for a sleep. Um you can uh take a a coffee because it's relaxing for your head. 
Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Marlon, how do you feel today? Um, I am not so good in this day. What's the matter? Because I hurt my hand. Really? Yes, when I was cook, uh, I was good in the the baseball. I cook, I could, I cut my hand with with a knife. Okay. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, uh, what can I do? Okay. Um, maybe take um pill. Um, go to the doctor. Can you rest um, for days? <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, how do you feel, Jocelyn? Mm, not so good. Why? What's the matter? Um, because I need a, a car. Oh, okay. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, what can I do? Mm, if you need a new car, you you can work very hard and you can save uh, very money. Um, you you need uh, thinking about that because it's not easy have a car. Okay. Yeah. How are you, Marlon? Do you have a, another problem? Um, yes, I, I want to travel uh, at Spain, but I don't have money. Okay. Mm, you can borrow money, borrow money, mm. um, work more, okay. um, you can wait. Um, for this time, you can uh, travel another country. Okay, thank you. Um, you, uh, how do you feel? Um, I feel miserable. Um, why? <laughs> uh, I want to travel. Ah, uh, so I'm boring. It goes to Mary. Um, I don't know. I want to, to travel another country. No, I am sorry. What can I do? Um, if you if you want travel, you you ma you can buy a ticket and you can. Uh, prepare the the bags and the other things and you can uh, fly with with very time because the the fly is necessary hard to to to, to time yeah thank you okay. uh, how are you uh, Marlon um, um do you do you want um something um, in your life, I have a, a a little problem because I think that is is important in my life. I think that the the problem is uh, that I I go to to visit it, I, my family in in Guatemala, but I don't I don't know where they they live. Really? Okay. Yeah. Mm, you I can do. you can find a uh, help for for Finden for Finden um mm, ask um your family uh, where they uh, live then. Thank you. Um or uh, get, um, you can call, call them? Yes, it is a good idea. 
but I don't have the, the number. Um, my uncle is uh, very so far. Um, I don't know what happened with, with their. Um, I'm sorry to hear yes. that, Marlon. All yes. right. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That was a very interesting situation. And, and I like that Jocelyn had an answer. I was thinking, what kind of suggestion will Jocelyn give? But Jocelyn, very good. You invented something fast. And Thank you. That's the idea, guys. Please, if your classmate has a situation that is a little unusual, invent. Okay? I mean, don't complicate yourself. You can invent. Okay, thank you, Jocelyn. Thank you, Marlon. And now I have some volunteers. That's what I need. Very good. Let's continue with, um, I can see Neri. Neri, are you there? I cannot see your camera on. There you are. Okay, Neri and Paola. Are you ready, both of you? I'm ready. Excellent, Paola, can you hear us? I'm ready. Excellent. Okay, give me just a moment. I'm going to write your name. Okay, Paola and Neri, your five minutes to start now. Go. Hi, Neri. How do you feel today? I feel sick. What's the matter? I have a sore throat. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. What can I do? Uh, take a pill. Go to the doctor. You don't speak. Uh, you can drink tea. Okay, thank you. How do you feel today, Paola? I'm not so good. What's the matter? I have a headache. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. What can I do? Oh, you can uh, take a aspirin, take a shower, and go to the doctor. Okay, thank you. How do you feel today? Not so good. What's the matter? I feel bothered. Oh, I'm sorry to feel that. What can I do? Uh, you can go to the party. You can play basketball. Um, go shopping. Okay. Uh, how do you feel today? Mm, not very well. What's the matter? I feel sad. I'm uh, sorry to hear that. What can I do? Uh, go to the park. You can watch TV. And go to the party. Okay, thank you. How do you feel today? Mm. Not very well. What's the matter? I want, I want a job in call center. What can I do? Um, you can study English. You can practice vocabulary. Every day, um, you prepare for the interview. 
Mm, okay. Uh, how do you feel? Not so good. What's the matter? I want to shower. What can I do? Oh, save money. Uh, work more. And you can go to United States. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Neri. Thank you, Paola. Those were very interesting scenarios. Okay. Now, you see, everybody, you can invent different scenarios. Um, remember, if you are using imperatives, you can say it's in affirmative and also in negative. Okay. Just remember, don't say the subject. Now let's continue. I can see Inti is ready and Veronica too. You ready, Veronica? Sorry, yeah. Excellent, Ingrid, ready? Yeah? Yes, I'm ready. Excellent, that's the one. Okay, give me a second. I'm writing your names. Please everyone, if you have a question, <sighs> you can tell me. Just remember, you just need to wait that your class may finish. Okay, one second, please. Okay, Ingrid, Veronica, you can start. Hello, Ingrid. Hello, How do Veronica. You feel? Mm, I'm not so good. What's the matter? I have a sore throat and fever. Um, sorry to hear that. Um, what can I do? Um, drink cold water. Um, you can go to the doctor. Important. Um, um, you can arrest it. Okay, thank you for your recommendation for me. And how are you today? How do you feel today? Uh, I feel sick. What's the matter? I have a stomach ache. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. What can I do? Okay, you can take a pill. Um... Or you can take a uh, antiacid, but the better idea is go to the doctor. Thank you. And other problem, uh, how do you feel? Mm, I'm not so good. What's the matter? I feel I'm down. I found down. Uh, I'm sorry, Dal. I'm sorry to hear that. Yes. What can I do? Let me think. Okay. Um. I um, do exercise at least twice a week. Um. Go to the park. Um. Um. I eat. Favorite food? It's great idea. Thank you. Do uh, you have another problem? Um, I miss my sister who live in other country. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. What can I do? Well, you can text your sister in whatsapp or messenger i don't know you can call your sister you say uh, i miss your sister i don't know thank you <laughs> Otter. okay how do you feel mm, i'm not so good 
really not so good. What's the matter? I want to travel abroad, but I don't have enough money. I'm sorry to hear that. Um. Okay, I can I do. Uh, uh, but buy the ticket. Um, you can take a flight. Um, set a money first. Thank you. Um, let me. What do you feel? Uh, not so good. What is the matter? I want to buy house, but I have no money. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear that. What can I do? Mm, you can borrow a money or buy your house or you save money. And work, hard work. Hard work, really? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. Finish. Okay. That's interesting. All. Interesting situations. <laughs> okay. One second. Let me finish writing the the scores. Okay. Pretty good. So, guys, if you see, nice job. Remember, try to use both can and imperatives, okay? Um, let's continue. One second, one second. Okay, the next volunteers that I have here is Patricia and Sophia. Girls, you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Sophia, can you hear us? Yes. Good. Okay, give me a second. Let me write your names. Okay, Soila and Sophia, your five minutes to start now. Go. Hi. How do you feel? Hello. Um, I know. I know food. What's the matter? I have a bad case. What can I do? I'm sorry to hear that. Thanks. What, what can I do? Uh, you can rest. Um, go to the doctor. Um, you, can, you can exercise. Okay, thanks. How did you feel today, Sophia? I have, a, I have terrible, I, I, I'm terrible, sorry. What's the matter? What's the matter, I, Sophia? Um, I have a, a habit. Oh, sorry to hear that. Um, don't go. Do? Don't go to the party. Um, take a pill, killer, and and read a lot of. Okay. Uh, what? How do you feel? I boring. What's the matter? 
Um, I I sleepy. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, what can I do? Um, you can wait me. Uh, you can uh, drink tea. Uh, you um, okay. You I'm sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Sophia. I think that we have some <clears throat> issues with the internet because. Uh, I can listen to you, but sometimes it's like stop. Uh, turn off the camera, please. And let's see uh, if that's improved, but only Sophia, because it's the Sophia audio, the one that is affecting. So Sophia, oh, okay. turn off the camera, please. Sorry. And let's see if the connection gets better. Okay. So, Sofia, can you continue okay. giving her the suggestion? Uh, Soila said that she feels sleepy and bored. Continue, please, telling her. Uh, can you repeat, please? Yes. I don't understand. Yes. yes. Okay, Sofia, what happens is como que se le congela un poquito el audio por ratitos. Entonces, deje la cámara apagada, vamos a ver si eso mejora. Ok. okay. Mantenga la camarita apagada, tal vez eso le ayuda con el audio. Ok. Y, ok. Ok, continúe, please. Sígale dando consejos a, a Zoila. Eh, ok. Eh, eh, drink tea. Eh. Uh, breath and go uh, drink a meal. Okay, thanks. How do you feel, Sophia? Uh, not so good. What's the matter? Uh, I want to play tennis. Okay. Why? Mm. It exercise. You say don't play tennis. No. That she is. She says wants. She wants. I want. <clears throat> Uh, you want to work with friend play uh, or buy a, a sorry you can practice with uh, your sister Okay. Um, how do you feel today, Sophia? The other problem? Uh, do you have other problem? Uh, yes, no. The last problem. How do you feel, Soila? Okay. Uh, how do you feel, I, Soila? I'm not good. What's the matter? Uh, I need a new job. Can you repeat, please? I need a new choice, but I don't have money. <laughs> oh, uh, one more. Um, what can I do? Okay. Uh, Work more, say a money. Um, okay. uh, you can 
uh, buy new shoes um, um, so off. Okay. How do you feel, Sofia? I think that... Um, okay. Continue, please. Uh, I am angry. Hold on, hold on. I think that Sofia, creo que ya dijo los tres escenarios. So, okay. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. So. Okay, good. Thank you, Sofia. Thank you, Soila. So guys, remember Thank that. You, You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, remember, if your classmate says an scenario that is a little bit weird <laughs> or unusual, Remember, you can invent the answers, but please active listening, okay? Everybody has to pay attention. Okay, let's continue. I see Tania is ready, yes? And I can see Guadalupe, yes? Guadalupe, are you ready? Excellent. Okay, give me a second. Perfect. Let me write your names. If you want to be the next one, lift your hands, everyone. Okay, one second, please. Remember everybody active listening. Estoy escuchando que algunos Siempre dicen, take a pill. <laughs> y a veces el escenario no, no es relacionado con eso, right? Por eso, active listening. Si su classmate, no sé, imagínense que le duele la garganta, no le podemos decir, ah, eat ice cream. No, right? So, active listening. Vayan poniendo atención para que realmente concuerde su consejo con la situación de su classmate. Okay, Tania and Guadalupe, your five minutes starts now. Go. Hi, Guadalupe. Good morning. How do you feel today? Hi, Tania. Good morning. Um, I'm I'm not so good. What's the matter? I have a fever. I'm sorry to hear that. What I what can I do? You can take a shower. Take a take a set aminophen and don't eat ice cream. Okay, thank you, Tanya. Uh, how do you feel today, Tanya? Not so good. Oh uh, I'm sorry that he feels bad. What's the matter? I have a cold. Oh, it's terrible. What can I do? You can... Um, you go to bed for the sleep. You can wear clothes, a uh, coat. You can take a pill, uh, a specific. You can to take a ceramidophen. Thank you very much. And how do you feel again? Uh, I'm worried. Can you repeat, please? I'm worried. Oh, what's the matter? Uh, I need for food for the dinner. Oh, sorry to hear that. What, what uh, can I do? You can buy a mall. And um, 
buy buy food in the grocery store and don't don't buy junk food. Thank you. Uh, do you have another problem? Yes, I have. I'm not so good. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. What's the matter? I need lots way for Christmas. Wait. She wants to be fitness, you know? Oh, fitness. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, you can um, go go out running every morning. You can eat vegetable and fruits and three times the day and you can take a uh, water a a litros thank and, you thank you and how do you feel oh uh, i'm sad what's the matter I want a new t-shirt for the play basketball. I'm sorry to hear that. What's uh, what uh, what can I do? Say money. Say money. Don't don't buy necessary things and buy buy the t-shirt uh, tomorrow. Yeah, okay, uh, how do you feel today? I'm awful. Uh, what's the matter? I want a new house. Ah, it's interesting. What can I do? If you can uh, save money and you can find the new house, you can go to the new neighborhood, you can find in, find in the internet option you can plan the house of your dream and thank you you're welcome mm -hmm. that's all that's all Good. Okay. Thank you, Guadalupe. Thank you, Tanya. Okay, guys, let's continue. Give me one second. Just let me finish writing my notes. Okay, let's see. Let's see. All right. So let's go. Let me tell you guys that you are doing great. So far, so good. I liked it. Remember to use both imperatives and can, okay? Some of you are using only can. Some of you are using only imperatives. Remember, you need to combine both, okay? Don't forget, guys, that please. If you use imperatives, don't say the subject. Now, let's see. I can see Gabriela is ready. Very good. And I can see Damaris. Damaris, you ready too? Yes, Jen. 
Excellent. Okay, give me a second. Let me write your names. I suggest you guys to pass today. Remember, for the one who passed tomorrow, I will be more strict. Okay, so I suggest you to pass today. Okay, uh, Damaris and uh, uh, Gabriela, you can start. Go. Hello, Damaris. How Hello, Gabriela. Good evening. How do you feel today? Not so good. What is the matter? I have a really noise. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, you can drink car, uh, cup tea and you can uh, uh, a no friend. You um, let me see. You can take a love wire. Okay, thank you, Gabriela. How do you feel today? I feel sick. Oh, what is what? What's the matter? I have a stomach ache. I'm sorry to hear that. What else can I do? You, you, uh, you can, you can't uh, take a, take a pill, take a Pepto-Bismol. You okay. don't, you don't, you don't drink drink Coca Cola. Okay, thank you. How do you feel? I feel less stressed. What is the matter? I need I need past the next level in in English, but I have bad score. I know. I'm sorry to hear that. What can I do? And um, practice for the class. School more. And um, you can play video games. And uh, you learn more. You can uh, listen your music in English. Okay, Gabriela, thank you. Uh, how do you feel? I am I feel not very well. What is what the matter? I don't have a job. Repeat please. I don't have a job. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. What can I do? You uh you can look for for call center. Um, the uh, you you can um you can recommend it uh, um to place. Another another thing is is do 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 um teacher how do you say um curriculum? I'm sorry, I can I help you? Is an exam? Okay. Um. Resume. You, resume. Uh, you uh, do do you information um. Okay, thank you. <laughs> How do you feel? 
Um, I'm terrible. What is the matter? Um, I want to. I want to to buy a new cell phone. Repeat, please. I want to. I want to buy a new cell phone. Okay, I am sorry to hear that. What can I do? Um, you buy uh, other cell phone in the month and buy the cell phone uh, Samsung, other option in iPhone, and cell phone is, uh, cell phone is cheap or expensive. Um, do cell phone is you can cell phone import for you in boy my mother. Okay, thank you so much, Gabriela. Uh, how do you feel today? I am, I am feel, I am feel terrible. What do you matter? Um, I want a red car for a car racing. Uh, repeat, please. I want to buy a red car for a car racing. Okay. Uh, you need a car. Yes. <laughs> you uh, you can you can save save money <laughs> um, uh, go 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 to the toyota there there a uh, found a more more cars um, you can't uh, you can't let me think. Mm. Okay. Uh, you can't um spend the money. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> very good. Finish the conversation, guys. You can say, okay, thank you, see you, or goodbye, Damari, see you tomorrow. End the conversation, no worries about it. Okay, thank you, Damari. Thank you, um, eh, Gabriela. Look at this, guys. Interesting scenarios. Keep it simple, okay? Imagine that in this case, Gabriela says that she needed a car for a car racing. If you say, what is car racing? I don't know, but I understood that Gabriela wants a car. So keep in mind that. Ignore car racing. You just had to pay attention in that she needs a car and start providing suggestions about it. Okay, let's continue. Ah, by the way, the Maris, if you want to say a curriculum is resume, okay? So every, this is for everyone, resume, okay? Or some people say CV, like the letter C and the letter V, CV, okay? That member, don't say it in Spanish, everyone. So let's continue. I can see Nelly and Cecia. Are you ready, girls? I'm ready. Yes? Yes. Excellent. Give me a second. Let me write your name. All right, Nelly, Celia, eh, Cecia, your five minutes start now. Go. <clears throat> okay. Hi, my name is Nelly. Hi, Nelly. Good morning. My name is Cecia. How do you feel today? 
I am sick. Oh, I'm sorry. What's the matter? I have a headache. Oh my God. Um, go to the doctor. Uh, go to sleep. Don't watch TV. Okay, thank you. How do you feel? I have a stomach, a stomach ache. What's the matter? I have a stomach ache. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What, what can I do? What can and I do? You can, you can drink soda. Go to the doctor. Uh, you can take pecto -bismol. Okay. Thank you, Nelly. Okay. I have a problem. Yes. How do you feel? Not so good. What's the matter? Um, I feel uh stressed for 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 a hunger. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. What can I do? Go to the party in the beach. Uh, you can study uh, more eight hours. And you can talk with your best friend. Okay, Nelly. Um, what, what the matter? I, I want to buy a cell phone and I don't have money. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Um, what can I do? Go to the, go to the boy cell phone. Can you say money? What money? What more? Okay, thank you. Uh, how do you feel? Mm, not so good, Nelly. What's the matter? I want to tra travel. Uh, I am sorry to hear that. What can I do? Uh, you can work hard. Uh, you, uh, you can leave your family. Go to visit your family. That's it. Okay. How do you feel, Nelly? Uh, not so good. What's the matter? Uh, uh, talk with, um, let me see, let me see, one moment. I okay. think that Nelly already I said. Want, I want to go see my friend in the USA, don't have money. Okay. <clears throat> Um, I'm sorry. Uh, what, um, uh, what can I do? Go to visit your friend. Can you can you call? Can you text for Messenger, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp? 
Thank you. Okay, That's Nelly. It. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> That's the one. You finished the conversation. Very good. So that is important too, guys. Remember, it's a conversation. You can say goodbye to your classmates. Thank you, Cecia. Thank you, Nelly. All right. Very good. Let's continue. We have time for, I think that one more pair can pass. And I have two boys ready, Herson and Rudy. Uh, remember everyone, the ones who pass tomorrow, I will be more strict, okay? Because you will have one more extra day to be ready. So if you can pass today, I suggest you to pass today, okay? But Rudy and uh, Gerald are ready. Give me one second. Let me write your names. Okay, so Rudy, Gerald, you can start. Boys, go ahead. Uh, Hi, Rudy. Hi, Gerald. How, How do, do you feel? feel? Oh, uh, I'm not so good. What's the matter? Um, I feel so tired for my job. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, what can I do? Uh, go to the park uh, and breathe fresh air. Um, you can change job or you can request vacation. It's a good idea. Thank you. And you, how do you feel? Um, I am not so good. What's the matter? Uh, I have a broken leg. Oh, uh, I'm sorry to hear that. What can I do? Well, um, can't move your leg for nothing. Uh, rest all uh, you can also and take painkiller for the pain. Okay, thanks. Uh, what other problems do you have? Um, well, I'm, I feel not very well. Sorry, what is the problem do you have? Um, uh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. If I have my final exam today. I am sorry. I understand you. What can I do? Um, you can study a lot. Uh, you can drink some linden tea for the nerves and okay. relax and take a deep breath before the final exam. I will do so. And um, you have another problem? Yes, yes. I have problem learning to play the piano. I'm sorry to hear that. What can I do? Well, um, let me see. Um, you can study more particles. Particles. Um, you need no need a good teacher and practice in your free time. Okay. How do you feel? I I feel I feel anxious. What's the matter? 
because I want to buy a new motorcycle like in the next Black Friday. Uh, that sounds great. Uh, what can I do? Uh, you can save money or borrow money. Uh, you can get extra income with another job or you don't uh, sorry don't rush and don't waste money on something else and you can be late for black friday okay thank you uh, and you uh, how do you feel today mm, not very well uh, really? What? Uh, what's the matter? Uh, I want to be a car driver. Oh yeah. Uh, it, it's 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 money. What can I do? Well, um, learn the traffic rules. Uh, you can go to the drive school and practice and you can practice with my class thank you so much Gerald. all right bye that's all i see you later all right thank you boys okay i like that one okay so look at this everyone um i think that the time won't be enough to the next pair. So the rest of you has to pass tomorrow. Listen, the one who passed today, remember you had to be connected tomorrow in the class, okay? Now, in the minutes that we have, I want to take, well, I, I want to give you a feedback in general. So the one who passed tomorrow, keep in mind that feedback so you can consider it. Let me tell you guys that honestly, the ones who passed today, you did an excellent job. I feel totally happy. Honestly, the one who passed today, you have done it great. Believe me. So the one who passed tomorrow, because you have an extra day to be ready, I expect that you do it excellent. Okay. Um, the little details that I wanted to consider is the following. A and I'm going to say it because I don't want that tomorrow you continue doing like maybe the same mistake. Okay. Uh, for example, if you say this, I am boring. I know that you are trying to say estoy aburrido, right? Or estoy aburrida. But that is not the correct one. The correct one is I am bored with ed. Boring sí significa aburrido, pero no es un estado de ánimo. Cuando decimos boring es una característica. Por ejemplo, si estamos viendo una película, vamos a decir, ay, la película es boring. Pero si estamos hablando de un feeling, de un estado de ánimo, vamos a decir bored. I am bored. Understood? Be careful with that. Um, also, this one. I, I feel stressed. La pronunciation is stressed. O sea que este ED... No vamos a decir stressed, sino que es como que si en lugar de pronunciar la ed, lo vamos a pronunciar como con una letra t. ¿Ok? Y vamos a decir es, eh, stressed. ¿Ok? Traten de repetirlo, please. Stressed. Stressed. Ajá. That is the one. Stressed. Stressed. Now, what is the pronunciation of this word? By or buy? By. By. The pronunciation is by. Escuché a muchos diciendo buy. 
It is not boy. It's by. The same with this. What is the pronunciation? Study. Study. Study or study. 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 Escuché a varios diciendo study. Ah, you can study. Uh -uh. Study. Okay, study. Um, imagine that I'm giving suggestions and I say, mm, can you take a pill? Is that correct? No. No. Why not? Because you can take a pill. If you say this, it sounds like a question. But if I give a suggestion, it's a question? No. Oh, so no. the correct one is? You, you can. can take a pill. So some of you gave recommendations, but you seem like a question. Be careful with that. Okay. Um, what else? What else? I think that those are like the main um uh, or like in general feedback. So the rest of you, believe me, you are doing an excellent job. Uh, remember, try to use both, everybody, to use imperatives and to use also the uh, can. Few words in Spanish, so that is excellent. Now, unfortunately, we don't have more time, so we are going to continue tomorrow. Listen, mañana, eh, creo que no nos vamos a tomar mucho tiempo en el examen porque los que faltan son bien pocos, así que... Luego continuaremos con la clase. Vamos a tener mucha practice. Y les sugiero que mañana estén listos a participar. Algunos están bien bajos en la nota de class participation. Así que si quieren mejorar la, la, la puntuación en la opción de class participation, mañana es el día. ¿Okay? Vamos a tener como bastante practice. Así que estén listos a participar para que puedan mejorar la nota en esa área. ¿Entendido? Yes? Okay, teacher. Pretty well. Okay, everyone. Do you have any questions before leaving? Yes? No? Okay. No. We are going to stop right here. Thank you so much for being in the class. Go and finish the platform, please. Okay? See you tomorrow, guys. Goodbye. Bye. Have a nice day. Tomorrow. Thanks. You too. Thanks.